owns up first. Yes, Julian found a toy of mine that I've been meaning to finish off and he brought Christmas lights with him, the LED kind. Um, it does weird things when connected to three-phase power because there's three wires on the LEDs. I'm guessing there's either a centre tap somewhere and two power wires or it could possibly even be like a simulated three-phase drive from the um, power module, but give that thing a little bit of a spin, like just barely move it. They pulse with the, <laughs> the current coming out of it. Give it a good spin now. There we go. <laughs> that is surprisingly effective. <laughs> Christmas it's only just moving, yeah, it's only doing a couple of RPM. That's really neat. I just like the way they pulse. It's not so much that we know we know we get um, voltage at virtually zero RPM when you turn it, like one or two RPM you get voltage, but the uh, frequency of it's cool. So I'm guessing these are almost tied together in like a star three-phase configuration anyway. What's really odd is it's only the N ones that are lighting up. Well, it's probably the first phase. Yeah. I think if I change the way it's wired, it'll probably uh, <laughs> change which one's light. I think hooking this up to a power drill later might be very much worth it. I agree. <laughs> 100 RPM and we'll stretch them out across the yard and watch them... Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to risk blowing them up now. No. They're no fun in that. In another experiment, he's found it to be a good idea to hook a dryer motor up to this thing. And it works. It's like a free energy device. It's happening out of nowhere. <laughs> Never mind the AC power used to charge the battery. How much, how much currents are pulling? 0 0.332, 0 0.332 amps. Almost half an amp. Four point seven seven amps. Sorry, point point four seven amps. There you go. You just pass half an amp, and the motor's starting to stall because the frequency is getting too high. You end up with rotor slip if we go too fast. I was going to say, don't let go of that trigger. <laughs> the braking on the cordless drill. I <laughs> know oh, the. The flywheel bolt on the generator is loose, so if he does accidentally lock it up, it'll just spin the bolt out rather than breaking his arm. Yeah, I like my arm the shape it is. <laughs> he seems to be happiest about there. Yeah, you're putting about 50 to 60 hertz into it, not 120 hertz or more. What happens if you don't use the capacitor? Hmm. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Oh, I mean, the motor's not under load, it should start. Yeah. Just bridge these two connectors. Well, essentially you've got two speed windings on this thing and a common point, so you're basically trying to run it as a three-phase. As long as the phases are offset correctly... Hey, if I'm trying to run it as a three-phase, what if I skip the capacitor and connect this to the third phase? I have a whole extra phase here to play with. Oh, you don't even have that part connected. No. We're only running it in one speed. I thought you had them all hooked across no, it. No, I, did, I didn't have that one because otherwise I'd go to war in the capacitor. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, we'll just destroy the cap. Throw me the, um... In run mode, all you have to do is turn up the potentiometer. They're resilient. Oh, oh, there's smoke. Well, there's lots of smoke. <laughs> Some of them are just starting to die. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we got fire. Oh, these things are tough. Oh no. Some of them are hanging in there. Yeah, I think the, uh, the direct drive motor just went short. Still going. <laughs> oh, that thing's horribly short. Well, 
Well, that's 100 hertz. Yeah, back it down. It's 150 hertz. <laughs> wow, some of them are just hanging in there, but it's uh. Well, these motors are not as pokey as the uh, Fisher and Piker ones. Crazy. Now the Fisher Pikel ones create devastating arcs when they start breaking out. But I'll give it credit, it did well. I'm going to have to uh, try this against the plasma panel. The state of winings is still stone cold. It's happy, it's fine. LEDs, however, well. Do you know what? Only half of them are probably blown. Probably yeah. One early blue and took out the rest of that chain. Yeah. I know there was fire down here. <laughs> Most of them actually don't look no, that there's a bit Oh, of there burn we go. Out there. That one burned. Bummer. Oh, it burnt before the LED. Oh, I probably arced over the pins. There's lots of orange flashes. That one's hanging off at a bad angle. That one's desoldered itself. Yeah, not worth the trouble to go through and try and fix the open circuits, I can tell you now. That one's melted. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and most of them got pretty hot. I wonder if they're even resisted. resisted. Yeah. I doubt it. Yeah. Maybe. You just cut one open and have a look. Yeah. A few of them haven't died yet and they won't die. Nah. They can, yeah, die in the landfill. <laughs> Furby lives. A lot of, oh no, that one.